answer a question of which is worse, either the wheels or the bearings, because I know this combination together is an absolutely horrible combination, and uh, I really haven't experimented too much with the newer Walmart or wheels and bearings yet, so uh, I think in the past I've done just Walmart bearings and they've ended up being actually really great, and it was the wheels that were the massive issue, but uh, nonetheless, this is still an absolutely horrible combination to have on our board because the bearings aren't super smooth and uh, the wheels provide a lot of resistance to the roll, but uh, I'm gonna take these apart and uh, yeah, see what which is worse and take them for each for a lap around uh, Old Town and uh, yeah, give you a verdict on which one I think is absolutely worse. gonna bring my skate tool as long as with a couple of extra spare parts or at least a couple spare wheels because I've had bearings fall apart on me on the past like in my rwish.com wheels worth oiling and uh, it ended up yeah they ended up completely falling apart and yeah but uh, other than that uh, let's get to skating uh, lap one will be the the Walmart bearings so uh, let's get to it Get, get, get on my head. 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 Get, get, get on my head.
one with bearings and one with wheels. Um, so the bearings at first did okay in the performance category. Uh, they were a lot more, a lot faster, but um, unfortunately I did lose out on one bearing, as you can tell that. And this is, seems to be a very common theme where I burn through the shield and it just completely falls apart after doing not even, I would say a full mile or two, let's say a little over two, three miles of longboarding or skating with these uh, uh, bearings, they tend to fall apart like that, but the bearings had a lot better performance than the wheels. They had, of course, as you can see, are very, very chipped. So in the durability category, I really can't uh, vouch for either one of these. The wheels seem to be slightly more uh, durable, but um, the hard part is they are so much slower than what uh, regular skateboard wheels are. And I, and these are 50 millimeters and 99A. Um, of course, I'm not a big fan of wheels of that size and hardness, but as far as other wheels go that I've skated, like on my plan B deck that I had uh, several years ago. Um, those wheels were about the same size and hardness, I believe a little bit bigger, but they were the same hardness and they rolled uh, significantly better, especially over smoother pavement. Uh, the only way these wheels would roll is if you had like stupid smooth pavement and exceedingly good bearings. Otherwise they're just not gonna roll for you. <clears throat> but uh, other than that, um, either one of these are just not a good option to part out from a Walmart board to <clears throat> put on a regular board. Uh, I would say just go to a skate shop and get regular good wheels. I just had these sitting around, uh, because I helped out a friend put some new wheels, new wheel and bearings on their old setup. But past that, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and see you guys next video.